Hello students, how are you all? I am Bindu. Today in class 8, social studies, we are going to learn about the resources. Let's take a visit to this house and see what things we use every day. Clothes, utensils, food grains, combs, a bottle of honey, books. Each of these has been used and they are important. Anything that can be used to satisfy a need is a resource. Learning outcomes. You will be able to define the meaning of resources, describe the nature of resources, explain the concepts of utility and value of resources, explain the economic value of the resources, analyze how time and technology can convert anything into resources. Learn different types of resources, natural and human made resources. Understand humans as an important resource. Understand the conservation of resources and sustainable development. Keywords Resources Anything that can be used to satisfy a need is a resource. Technology It is the application of the latest knowledge and skill in doing or making things. Stock of resources. It is the amount of resources available for use. Human resource. Refers to the number and abilities, mental and physical, of the people. Though there are differing views regarding the treatment of humans as a resource, one cannot deny the fact that it is the skills of humans that helps in transferring physical material into a valuable resource. Sustainable Development Carefully utilizing resources so that besides meeting the requirements of the present also takes care of future generations. Look around you and observe. You will be able to identify many types of resources. For example, the water you drink when you are thirsty, the electricity you use in your house, the rickshaw you use to get home from school, the textbook you use to study, Fresh vegetables used to make a tasty snack. These are all resources. Why these are called resources? The things like water, 
electricity, rickshaw, vegetable and textbook have all been used by you, so they have utility. Utility or usability is what makes an object or substance a resource. How does something become a resource? Things become resources only when they have value. It use or utility gives it a value. And all resources have some value. Value means worth. Some resources have economic value, some do not. Some resources can become economically valuable with time. For example, your grandmother's home remedies have no commercial value at home. But if they are sold by a medical firm, they could become economically valuable. Time and technology are two important factors that can change substances into resources. Both are related to the needs of the people. People themselves are the most important resources. It is their ideas, knowledge, inventions and discoveries that led to the creation of more resources. For example, the discovery of fire led to the practice of cooking, the invention of the wheel resulted in the development of newer modes of transport. The technology to create hydroelectricity has turned energy in fast flowing water into an important resource. Types of resources Generally, these resources have been classified into natural resources, human made resources, human has a resource. Now, let us understand them one by one. Natural resources are those resources that are easily available in nature and we use them without any modifications. For example, the air that we breathe, the water in the rivers and lakes, the soils, the minerals, etc. Many of these resources are gifts from nature and can be used directly. Example, air which we breathe, but even though water is available directly in nature, we cannot consume them directly because the availability of drinking water is depleting day by day. And the water which is available in the river cannot be used directly. So, with the help of technology, we are purifying the water and drinking it. In the contrast, human made resources are those resources that are made by humans and are not available naturally. For example, roads 
and building technology is also a human made resource. Now let us discuss the natural resources. Natural resources can be broadly categorized into renewable and non-renewable resources. Renewable resources are those which get renewed or replenished quickly. Some of these are unlimited and are not affected by human activities such as solar and wind energy. But careless use of certain renewable resources like water, soil and forest can affect their stock. Water is a renewable resource but shortage and drying up of natural water sources is a major problem in many parts of the world today. Non-renewable resources are those which have limited stock. Once the stock are exhausted, it may take thousands of years to be renewed or replenished. Coal Petroleum and natural gas are some examples. The distribution of natural resources differs due to physical factors like terrain, climate and altitude over the earth. What are human resources? People can make the best use of nature to create more resources when they have the knowledge, skill and technology to do so. That is why human beings are a special resource. Do you know? Human resource refers to the number and abilities mental and physical of people. Though there are differing views regarding the treatment of humans as a resource, one cannot deny the fact that it is the skills of humans that helps in transferring the physical material into a valuable resource. Education and health help in making people a valuable resource. Improving the quality of people's skills so that they are able to create more resources is known as human resources development. Conserving resources. Students just imagine a situation without food, water, electricity and petrol in the future. What would happen? Certainly, we will be in trouble without all of these. Hence, it is important to use the available resources carefully and wisely. Only then we will be able to conserve them. What is resource conservation? Using resources carefully and giving them time to get renewed is called resource conservation. Balancing the need to use resources and also conserve them for the future is called 
sustainable development. There are many ways of conserving resources. Each person can contribute by reducing consumption, recycling and reusing things. The future of planet Earth and its people is linked with our ability to maintain and preserve the life support system that nature provides. For this, we have to ensure sustainable development. We all have to be careful that we use the resources economically and unmindful utilization has to be stopped. Small effort from our side can make a big difference. Therefore, it is our duty to ensure that all uses of renewable resources are sustainable. The diversity of life on the earth is conserved. The damage to the natural environment system is minimized. Change personal attitudes and practices towards the environment. Enable communities to care for their environment. Some principles of sustainable development. Respect and care for all forms of life. Improve the quality of human life. Conserve the earth's vitality and diversity. Minimize the depletion of natural resources. Change personal attitude and practices towards the environment. Enable communities to care for their own environment.